Hey guys, so I wanted to film an empties video for the month of October. I think I was also seeing stuff, um, trying to remember which, what is this, September into October. So October is almost over. We have like a week left, um, depending on when I upload this video. We have like a week and a half left, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it because I actually have a lot of stuff. Normally I have like nothing, but apparently I was just using every single thing up. So... Let's get into it. Okay, and then I look, I know, I look a little crazy. This bun is really weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video because I don't want it to be super duper long. So the first product that I used up was this Forever Young Hydrating Facial Wrap Coconut Plus Shea Butter. And I'm going to have my, well the lighting got really weird and it's getting late so I need to do this quick. Um... My very first skincare routine, I'll link it down below for you guys, because these were mentioned in it, and I believe I did a semi-mini review or something about them, but I love these. Uh, they're just amazing. They're super hydrating. They smell so good, so I really, really like these. Um, next are the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes by the Up and Up brand, which I actually really like these ones. I prefer these ones. Right now, I'm trying out Equate. The Equate brand ones, which are supposed to be similar to the Neutrogena. I'm not sure how I, how I feel about those yet, but I really do like these ones for the price. I think they're only like two, three bucks. So really like those. Um, this is super sad that this is all gone. My Olay Professional Pro X Exfoliating Renewal Cleanser. Um, this stuff, it comes with sometimes in a kit. You can get it with a the Pro X brush, which I really like using that as well. Um, but this is all gone, I used it all up, but basically all it was was a clear, actually it was kind of like milky gel with beads in it, and it was just amazing, it made my skin so soft, and if you can tell, I don't know if this camera will be able to pick it up, but I have bumpy skin right here now, and this, it's gone over here, but I used to have like keratin spots like right under my eye here, I'm actually, or it's not keratin what is it, calcium, and, um, yeah, it was crazy, but this stuff got rid of it, plus the brush, um, both helped to get rid of it, so I really, really like that, and I'm definitely repurchasing. Another skincare item, and again, this is gonna be, I never talked about that one, so if you want me to do a review, definitely let me know, um, and I definitely will, because I love it, um, but this is also gonna be a part of the Forever Young I talked about the Forever Young Facial Wraps, um, this was my very first skincare, I think it might have been in my second, so I might, if it was, link that. Um, but these are the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads, and these were okay. I didn't like the scent, they kind of dried out my skin, and, um, it comes with 28 self-foaming dual texture pads, so one side was smooth and the other side had, like, little beads on the top of it, you know. Uh, it was okay, it did clean my skin well. Um, so I would repurchase these, but I just hate the scent. So if there's like one that's scent, scent free, I guess so, um, then I would get that one. But they did work and get my makeup off and all of that, so that's what I use it for. Plus it made my skin feel fresh, but then again it dried it out a little bit on my cheek area. Okay, moving on. By the way, I want to note it here. If you want me to do any reviews on, like, full, more in-depth reviews on these products, let me know and I will. Moving on. This is all wet. The Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. Love it. Bought a new one. So, yes, always repurchase this because it's really nice. And it does the job for $3.50. Uh, the next one is the... Uh, Paul Mitchell Blonde Platinum Blonde Shampoo. Uh, looks like this. Smells amazing. It's the color purple. It smells like cucumberiness. So fresh. Really lathers up. I really like it, but I believe it's $20. And for $20, it gets really pricey because I use it probably like twice a week. And really, you only need to do it like once a week though. But I like to do it twice a week just because... I do. I like the way it smells and feels. So I really like it. It smells just like a salon. But I'm looking for a new blonde shampoo. So I think I'm going to be trying John Frieda's. John Frieda's. Why did I say that again? 
uh, blonde shampoos um, just because this is 20 bucks and I have to buy it probably like every month literally so I just no I don't want to keep doing that you gotta save money <laughs> okay next is the Hawaii coconut or this Bath and Body Works Hawaii coconut creamy body scrub um, looks like this I'm not sure if they have this anymore but I know I purchased it like when all the tropical scents like a while ago before I went to Hawaii like I think a year before I went to Hawaii so I don't know how old this thing is but it smells so good it smells like just like coconut I have the matching lotion and lip thing just because I love the scent of coconut it works really nicely so um, any other creamy body scrubs are amazing um, and I used to have bumps on my arm and I started using the apricot scrub like the St. Ives apricot scrub and then this and it just got rid of my bumps on my arms so I don't have that anymore which is really good but I got rid of those a while ago but I've used the creamy body scrubs all the time I just love the scent of coconut okay um, this is so sad that this is gone my Garnier Skin Renew anti dark circle roller which I have a review for it up and I told you guys a while ago that I said I was gonna do a tutorial uh, actually gonna do a face routine with this um, a foundation routine with this but when I was gonna do it it was running really low so I was like oh my god I don't want to cover my whole face in this because I need to use this to conceal as much as I can before it runs out and I couldn't it ran out like three days after I had said that to myself so yeah but that's really good I'll link the review down below for you guys because I believe I do have one of those up um, I use this Pantene classic two-in-one shampoo and I didn't use it as shampoo I actually put it I made my own um, leave-in conditioner and I used this in it and guys it's amazing my own never would have thought that it would have worked but it's like it works amazingly so if you want to know how to make your own leave-in conditioner and you want to try my recipe, recipe, um, then definitely let me know. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, I completely forgot about this. Okay. Maybelline Expert Eyes Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover for Waterproof Eye Makeup. I don't know if you can get this anymore. I think you can because I think I saw it. No. No. No, this took me like three months to get through. It's so thick, so oily. It gets into my eyes. I hate the way it feels. It's terrible. It does, however, remove all of your makeup, but if you don't like oily feeling substance on your eyes, getting in your eyes, this is not for you. And it's all over the freaking bottle, and then it'll get all over your hands, on the counter you don't even know it's like glitter it does not go away when you're like randomly just sitting there and you haven't even touched the thing today in the day you're like oh my god I can feel it on my hand right now I hate this stuff and I'm not rebuying this okay so I oh, should have waited okay bare minerals flawless definition curl and lengthen mascara I really like the mascara but unfortunately it's $18 and I definitely don't think it's worth $18. It is a dry formula. So I don't know. It's nothing fantastic. It, um, I don't really have a problem with my eyelashes ever falling, like losing their curl thing. Like some people might have. I didn't even know that happens to be honest. Um, but here is the brush. Uh, looks like this. I really did actually like the brush. It really separated my lashes nicely, but it's a very dry formula and oh my god. Mm, I got it on my nose. Oh, let me get that. Mm, guys. But no, I can't keep talking. Oh my god. I'm not going to edit that out. You know what? Nobody's perfect. Okay. Anyway, it's a dry formula. It's $18 or something like that. If you want to check it out, if your curls do fall though, definitely do because it dries perfectly and I really think it will help hold your curl. Um, I don't really think that it does like curl your lashes like without a curling wand or without a curler. Uh, eyelash curler. I don't know what I'm saying. I definitely don't think it does that. 
but it does lengthen your lashes. So if you want length and you haven't found anything yet, I guess try it out. Um, but it didn't make me really excited. So I, I have other ones I prefer. <laughs> Basically is what I'm trying to say here. Sorry, I'm rattling this bag. I got everything out of it. Okay, last three things. Excuse me. Like, I don't know what that was. Um, my e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. Love it. It's my favorite. I use both ends for eyebrow because they're basically, one's clear mascara and people use the great lash one. So I'm like, why not? Just use both. It's a buck. And I really only have to buy it like once a month, maybe twice a month. But that's really it. And it lasts a really long time. So I really do recommend it, guys, if you are needing a... A brow gel. Definitely try this and don't spend like the five bucks on a clear mascara. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I've, and I've already repurchased it by the way. I don't know what I just said there but I've already repurchased it. Um, and then I uh, used up two of these old, two of these pocket backs from Bath and Body Works. Um, these were Christmas scents and I've had them for a while. And this one I finally finished today. The Pink Sugar Plum, which I love Pink Sugar Plum. And it was my favorite. And then somewhere we got these Snowberry ones. And, like, these are my two all-time favorite. So when it's Christmas time this year, because I don't have these anymore, I'm buying, like, the freaking lotion in this. And the freaking lotion and this in this. And, like, the jumbo sizes of these. And, like, a million of the little ones. Because I love these scents. The Pink Sugar Plum one smells like... Mm, it just smells so good, guys. And the Snowberry one. This one it smells like vanilla-y berries. And then this one smells like... I don't know. It smells like a raspberry, I think. But I got that on my nose, too. But anyway, these are my favorite. I love them. I'm going to include that in my Sassy Saturday. And this will be up tonight. Tonight. Tomorrow. Um, I'm for Thursday, and then I'll have my Sassy Saturday up on Saturday, and tomorrow I'm going to be filming something for Friday. Uh, sorry I've been so behind. I'm going to explain it all in this upcoming Sassy Saturday, so definitely check that out if you want to know what's been up with me. So I'll talk to you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and please share it with your friends. Um, and also, comment down below if you want any reviews or whatever you want to say, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. I miss you guys. Bye.